Hi, in this video, we will see how we can copy files from some location to Google Drive. We'll use Google Colab and we'll write some script, Python script, and then we'll execute that script to copy files from other location to Google Drive. So this is my Google Drive. So I see there is a folder, it is called my test folder and here there is nothing okay and this is a sample site uh like we we want to download uh this pdf which is like on drive getting started right if you click here it will start downloading on your computer but we will not download in our computer we will actually download and store it to our google drive so it will be stored here okay and we will use google colab and google colab you can access uh, colab.research.google.com from this site you can directly google it like google collab then you will find the top first is the google collab so from there we can create a script and after that we can run the script to copy uh, this type of file like uh, this type of pdf or some other file or video media any file you can copy directly to your google drive so here we will copy so let's get started so after clicking this google collab uh, this site then we will come uh, this type of page. Before starting any of this tutorial, we have to log in our Google account and then after that, when we will go uh, to this website, then we will find this type of interface or UI. Okay, so at first we need to create a new notebook. So there will be on button, new notebook and cancel. So we have to click here to create a new notebook. So I'm going to hit here and then it will create a new notebook in Google Colab and let's rename it so suppose uh, for the first time you will see the name is like untitled 0.ijpuinb that is jupyter notebook file this extension okay so we can rename it so for example uh, uh, i want to rename it like copy to google drive gd okay i just typed it uh, like this here. copy to gd copy to google drive okay so here it will store uh, from some location to our google drive at first we need to connect our google drive so this is our google drive so we need to connect from this notebook file to uh, this google drive so to connect that we need to write some script so at first we need to import some of the drive so we can uh, use import drive and this drive should be coming from the package of google colab so we can type from then google dot colab okay so from this google colab we are importing drive and then we can tell uh, with a method to mount google drive so we are using drive dot then there is a method it's called mount okay so inside the mount we have to tell what we need to mount so our target is to mount the google drive okay so here we should type content slash drive and that's all by these two lines we can easily connect google drive but before that but we need to execute this script so i'm going to click this arrow button to execute this script so i'm going to hit here by my cursor and then you'll see a round like this type of thing and it will give you this type of thing so go to this url in the browser it is asking to go to this link and then it is asking the authentication code so what we have to do we have to just click here and once i click here then it will prompt us this type of thing then you have to choose uh, your email address so this is my email address so i'm going to click here and then after that it is asking that google drive file stream wants to access your google account okay so these are the things so we must have to allow otherwise we cannot connect so i'm going to hit allow and once i hit allow uh, this will give us a authentication code like this okay so what we have to do we have to press here to copy it and it will be copied now we have to go to this jupyter notebook file and then we have to paste it right click and paste once it is paste then hit enter or return key of your keyboard and if the authentication is code is correct then you will get some confirmation message that mounted at this one that means it is able to mount our google drive so let's check whether it is mounted or not so to check this thing we have to come left side and in the left side there are three icons so the last icon is the files or folder location like thing so if you click here then a new uh, menu bar will be appeared and here you will see there are a couple of things 
like drive so this is our google drive so if you expand then you will see there will be my drive and then again if you expand then you will see all the files or folders okay so right now we are seeing that this is my drive and there are a couple of things and folders so here is my test folder if i double click there will be nothing basically so if we come here and if we click my folder and we'll see there is nothing only the empty folder okay so now we need to copy uh, some files to this folder okay so what you have to do you have to write other block of script so just click this code so i'm going to hit this code and then it will open a new code block so here we have to uh, configure from where to here i need to copy file okay so at first we need to import the operating system so i'm typing import then os okay os means operating system then we need to switch our drive so this is our targeted drive right so what we can do uh, we can write online of command like os dot chdir change directory and then inside it we can put the path so here is my path right where we want to copy right so here so we can do one thing we can uh, click this three dot and then a pop-up menu will be appeared and from here we have to choose copy path so i'm going to copy path and then here we need to paste so i'm going to paste it here so this is uh, my folder uh, where i want to copy okay so i'm switching to that folder so once you complete that what you have to do now we have to copy that file to this here or some file okay so to copy or store some file we have to type the command exclamation mark then w gate then a space and then we have to uh, use dash c and then a space and then we have to put the path name of that f uh, file which we want to copy and finally we have to uh, put uh, on argument no dash check dash certificate okay so here we definitely need to put the path which file we want to copy so at the beginning of the tutorial uh, i discussed that we will copy this simple pdf but you are fine to copy any file or media or something anything is fine okay so i'm going to hit right click and copy link address i'm going to copy the link address i mean this file location and after copying i am coming here and i'm putting here so i just put the full address i mean full path of that file okay we are seeing that so what we typed we at first imported the os then we change the directory so we are right now we will be uh, in this folder okay my just folder and then after that we are copying this file to this location okay so our script is almost done so what we have to do right now we have to execute uh, this block so to execute like before we have to press this uh, round arrow button so i'm going to hit it here and it will start running and if everything is fine then it will give you all the details okay so it is showing that getting started and it is showing that it is this thing saved that means it's copied successfully okay so let's check whether it is really able to store that file to our desired location or not so here we, we are in the my test folder uh we are we are just uh, clicking this refresh button and it will refresh and here uh, if we expand this thing then we'll see that there is a file okay and this file is coming from here right okay now let's switch our google drive and let's refresh it here actually we don't need to refresh it automatically updated um, so we are we are seeing in my test folder there is a file which is getting started with onedrive.pdf file so it is able to successfully copy that file to here so that's all guys uh, with this like one two and uh, the three line this five lines of command is enough to copy any file from any location to your google drive so in this way you can easily copy the file from any location to google drive and then you can store it very successfully so guys that's all uh, hopefully this video will be helpful for you and if you feel this video is useful uh, please consider subscribing to our channel thank you for watching <music>